Who's winning Super Bowl 56? Your real and funny predictions for the big game. Live on The Brew. Joel, it's time to make your Super Bowl pick. Who are you going with? Well, let's look at the teams. So, first of all, in the NFC, we got the Rams, who uh, was my preseason prediction to win the NFC, so I got that right. The reason I picked them is because they have a very sabermetrically sound team. If you look at advanced statistics, they have a sound offense and defense. And they brought Jared Goff to the Super Bowl in 2018. And they went and got Matthew Stafford in the offseason, who has made a huge difference. He's always been a good quarterback, just on a really shit team. So we have the Rams. Um, and then on the other side, we have the Bengals. Superb team. Joe Burrow's on fire. Jamar Chase is having an incredible rookie year. The O and D line are their strengths as well. So we got very, very even matchup. Uh, either team could be knocked out right away. Um, could have been knocked out right away, I should say, earlier in the rounds. Um, but I think this is a pretty even matchup, and it's going to be a really good Super Bowl. It's not going to be like some of the other shitty ones we've had recently. But uh, I'm going to say Rams 27-24. Wow, uh, crazy pick. Okay, I um, I have uh, some agreements there with you. First off, I hope I am rooting for any person to walk up to a Vegas sports book before the season started and put a bet down on the Bengals because if that pays off, because they were so unfavored to win the Super Bowl, even get the Super Bowl this season, that that better will be paid off big time. I mean, I think it's like a hundred and some over percentage over your bet. Like, it's great. Having said that, though, I do think the Bengals got lucky this season. They're good. They're great. But they did get lucky. And um, it's kind of one of those things where the team gelled together, lightning struck, and it just they worked together, and it worked out for them. Having said that, though, I think the Rams just have it together better. They didn't get quite as lucky. They actually played a little harder. So I'm picking the Rams, although I'm, I'm good for you, Bengals. You know what? I, even though I'm sitting here wearing a Steelers jersey, I don't like the Bengals, but I'll applaud them for what they did for their season so far. <laughs> but I'm picking I'm picking Rams. You know, it's another thing to point out. Like, everybody's picked against the Bengals all the way up until this point, too. So it's not like, you know, they, they've been the underdog the whole time. We could be very wrong about it. They could just blow them out and win. It's just unlikely. I do agree with you, though. I think we do have a good game uh, coming up. It's not going to be a blowout either. It's not going to be one of those deals. Like, this is actually going to be a good, watchable football game. Thankfully. Well, you guys have all of your picks as well, so let's get to it and see who you guys are picking to uh, win the Super Bowl. Here we go, because Shannon says Cincinnati. Thomas Yankee says the Bengals. Richard Poole, too, says Cincinnati. Rudy says the Rams. Warlock Weirdo says L.A., but I'm like, Cincinnati is winning because I picked L.A. Just you watch. Yeah, that's kind of how it always goes with me, too. Whoever I pick it somehow seems to go the opposite way. Uh, California Love says whatever NFL owner pays more to have the head coach to lose the game. Haven't you learned anything from head coach Brian Flores? Aaron says, I hope it's an exciting game. I think the Rams are going to win. The defense is strong. And finally, Real Treats Tweet says, as a Steelers fan, it literally destroys me to say Cincinnati, but the Rams barely beat a team with a bad quarterback. I can't see them beating the Bungles. Ooh, a little point counterpoint going on there uh, with the golf. The thing about that that NFC Championship game, that's a divisional game, first of all. Those divisional games are funky. And not only that, but the Niners have beaten the Rams six times in a row, even when the Rams were a far better team, not even including this year. So those games are kind of funky. It's hard to just play, like, base how they're going to play on one game like that. Well, I'm going to one-up you on that. I think the whole NFL season's kind of funky. I mean... I mean, look at Tampa Bay, for example. You know, everybody thought they would be great, and then it's it's who you know the who's in is should not be in, and who's out should not be out. It's almost like completely opposite of the way it should be on paper. It's actually kind of refreshing for the NFL to have a season like this. Well, Joel, let's get to the poll because the poll always tells all. So, who do you guys think are going to win the Super Bowl? Survey says eighty-three percent of you picked the Rams, seventeen percent of you picked the Bengals. So, just like Joel said, popularity-wise. You're all getting in on the Rams bandwagon. But it adds up to pretty much what everybody's been saying all season long, so the poll's right on with everybody's opinion. Yep. And it's going to be a good game, so everybody enjoy it. Well, now that you all got your fun bets down, we had a few novelty answers that I think would be a good time to share for some people that decided to break from tradition and pick somebody else win a Super Bowl. <laughs> so... Novelty answers. Who's winning the Super Bowl? Well, Joe says NBC. Very nice. I like that. Cosmic Colleen says the Steelers. I kind of wish. Deanna says, oh, Eminem, it'd be great. And Wizard of Swords has the answer, corporations. Well, yeah, okay. That's the ultimate winner. Well, hey, you want to be the ultimate winner? You click that like, subscribe button for all the fun here on the Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel. Four big shows waiting for you each and every week. And go ahead and bet on the fun we have here every week because you can bet that it's going to be a winner. So there you go. So I'm betting once again for a great Super Bowl. I'll be sitting here watching it because actually there's nothing else on the other channels at the time except for the Puppy Bowl. I'll be watching that too with Kitty Halftime Show. 
There you go. That's a very popular second choice. Hey, what's the pup doing? Does he get into the puppy bowl there? Or do you put the animal planner on? Does he get all excited? Or is it like, nah, forget it? Shit, if I put animal planner on, it's going to be red rocket season. <laughs> okay. There you go. All right. Not Just cool. you on you saying thanks for watching. Thanks for your uh, great predictions. We'll see how they turn out. And we'll see you next time, I hope. Funny Valentine's candy hearts that might ruin your loved one's day. Streaming now on YouTube, Jersey Joe 50.